Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It is the 2nd of March and we're in Numbers and chapter 35. The Lord through Moses commands the children of Israel to go into the land and possess it and the Lord describes the physical boundaries of the land that is theirs to possess. And the Lord also explains the cities in which the Levites will have their inheritance and specifies the cities of refuge and then closes today's reading with the law of inheritance. So first the Lord explains the extent of the land and the borders that were to be secure and then the Lord explains that the Levites are not to have land but they are to have cities. They were not going to be farmers or herdsmen, they were going to be dedicated um, to the Lord for his service they would be separate unto the Lord and they would live in walled cities. In the suburbs of the cities they would, they would have livestock and the suburbs would extend only one mile beyond the city wall. Among the cities of the Levites there were six cities called cities of refuge. These cities were appointed as a place of safety for anyone who had accidentally killed another man. As well as these six cities, there were another 42 cities of the Levites, so that they had 48 cities in all. Those families that had many members would have more cities, but smaller families had fewer cities. Um, then the Lord names the cities of refuge. These cities were not a permanent solution. They were a temporary place um, of safety until a trial could be set up. And there were three cities on the east of Jordan and three on the west. They were only for the man who slays another by accident. If a man murdered another, then the revenger could kill him wherever he met him, but not if he was inside a city of refuge. And the man must stay within the boundary of the city of refuge until the death of the high priest. When the high priest died, the revenger of blood must leave the man alone. This prevented the land from being filled with blood. Israel was a safe place to live. Then we have the question regarding the daughters of Zelophehad. And, and what the judgment was. They were to marry only within the tribe uh, to enable the inheritance to remain in that tribe. This was adopted as a principle throughout all Israel. Now, <clears throat> today is a passage which um, for a, a Christian to read is long and tedious because of course we're not familiar with all of the territory in person we're not familiar with all the people being spoken to very often however for the Israelites it's a passage of incredible importance because they would find themselves among the people listed and so for them this was an exceptionally important passage um, the land was divided by lot and it was divided by one prince of every of one of the tribes. So there were 12 tribes and 11 of the tribes um, would have a prince who would, um, by lot, would be able to divide out the land amongst all the extended family of his tribe. Now the Levites didn't have um, land like the rest of the tribes had but they had cities in which to live and in those cities there would be um, a garden which would extend no more than a mile from the center from the wall or the from the wall of the city there were 48 cities in all but amongst the 48 there were these three special cities the cities of refuge and what a man could do if a man killed another man by throwing a stone that he was classed as being a murderer but if he accidentally threw a stone behind his back or something was a genuine accident then he could flee 
and he could flee to a city of refuge and he would be under the um, protection of the priest um, and uh, he would be under the protection of the priest all the time that that priest lived and when the priest eventually died then he would be automatically released from the the um, avenger of blood you see in biblical times um, the avenger of blood was generally the blood brother or a very near kinsman of the person that had died and that uh, revenger of avenger or revenger of blood would um, have a duty to murder sorry not to murder to kill to execute uh, the person who had killed one of his family however those avengers of blood would not be able to kill a man if he was under the protection of the priest um, and the solution the, the reason for this is giving in verse 33 it says so you shall not pollute the land wherein you are for blood it defileth the land and the land shall cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein except by the blood of him that shed it defile not therefore the land which you shall inhabit wherein i dwell for i the lord dwell amongst the people the children of israel so if a murderer killed then he had to be executed because the, the blood that he has shed could not be cleansed unless um, he actually suffered um, execution for himself and that's why there was this um, but of course that was that was on the understanding that the man had a hatred in his heart and had predetermined in his heart that he would kill <clears throat> and then the very last last passage is very interesting the children of Israel may enjoy every man the inheritance of his fathers now the inheritance could not be transferred between tribe to tribe the tribes always remained um, within the boundary of their own territory and nobody could inherit any land um, outside of the boundary of his own tribe um, and at the very end which is the last verse of the whole book that's my password it says these are the commandments and the judgments which the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses unto the children of Israel in the place oh, excuse me in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho so this is how the Lord had through the hand of Moses had designated that um, that the that the land should be divided and how the inheritance should be protected now I have a question which every student is free to have a go at answering and the question is this is how did Noah okay get protected by Moses how did she Noah um, become protected by Moses that's my question there we are now I'm sure you'll find the answer in the passage well God bless you I look forward to speaking to you all tomorrow have a great day bye for now <clears throat>